Hello everyone and welcome to day three of week two. We are working on lower body today. We have Tabata. So we're gonna work for 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off today. Two moves per circuit, four times around. Bit of a burner <laughs> and we're gonna definitely need our legs tomorrow for our total body work. So today is gonna be all about the strength. So we're gonna work single-sided sometimes and things like that. All right, so four circuits total, two exercises per, four times around each, 30 seconds on, 15 off. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells, your mat, your towel, your water, whatever you need. We're gonna get started with a warm up first. All right, if you're ready, tap it out here with me. I definitely wanna make sure the legs are feeling warm after this warm up. Let's start to ham curl right here. Turn those fitness watches on. Curious to see what kind of calorie burn we have going today. Since it is strength. I love when they surprise me. A lot of people think you don't burn calories with resistive training. Not true. Especially when you're working Tabata style, right? You're controlling your rest. Let's take it to some squats. right here and down and up squeeze stretch and squeeze good wide squat now toes can be slightly pointed out you're gonna see this move later all right, side to side, middle, side, middle. Good, elbow to knee here. Let's get a little lower, try to touch the foot. Chest is up, inner thighs are getting warmed up, so is the booty. Ooh, speaking of booty. We got some good booty work in today. Ham curls once again. I know my ladies are gonna love that. It's a burner. Squat it out. Four more of these. One, let's do those deadlifts. Down, squeeze. Last one, nice and wide squat. Hips are really open, butt's way down. Chest is up. Last one here, let's go side to side. Elbow to knee. Now touch the toes. Good, that's the last one here. What I want you to do are some gate openers. Open up the hips. All right, and just because I wanna make sure we are definitely warm, grab onto a wall, your buddy, significant other, whoever it is, we're gonna do some swings. And switch. I know I'm cutting off my head here, guys. You don't need it. All right, same wall if you need that. Little quad stretch. Awesome if you don't. Up tall, hip bones forward. Oh yeah, that's the stretch. Other side, same thing up tall. 
Hip bones forward, stretch out those hip flexors as well. All right, shake out the legs. I hope you're ready. So before I start the timer, our very first move, we will need some dumbbells. We are gonna work on a squat to front squat. Probably like, what? Squat, front squat. Down, down, all right? Little bit of a bicep curl, but honestly, it doesn't have to be a perfect elbows in curl. This one's kind of just for the purpose of loading. So we have a little bit of power here, right? So squat to front squat, then we're going to do a lateral lunge to a double squat alternating. We have some coordination going on guys today. So it looks like this, lateral lunge, boop, boop. Lateral lunge, squat, squat. All right, go ahead and grab your dumbbells, your water, whatever you need. We're gonna get started. Grab those weights, squat to front squat in four, three, two, here we go. Squat, front squat. Make sure you're coming all the way up before you squat back down. We're not doing any quarter squats for this one. Squat, front squat. We got two seconds. All right, load the dumbbells back up. Lateral lunge to double squat. 15 second rest. Tap it out, walk it out. Three, two, coordination, here we go. Lateral lunge. So this long leg is basically useless, right? I've got all my weight in my hip on those lateral lunges. If this is too much for you guys, you can take it down to one dumbbell. Last one. Woo! Go ahead and rest. All right. I want to show you your modification with one dumbbell just in case you need it. Squat to front squat up next. Here we go. Squat. Front squat. All right. Squat. Front squat. Keep on going. I'm going to grab my other dumbbell. This is round two. All right, rest. If you need that modification, one dumbbell, lateral lunge to double pulse. Three, two. Looking good. We're trying to keep the chest up. Notice how I never fully come up, we stay low. On this one, we stay low. Come on, five seconds. Hopefully your booty's starting to burn. Good, and rest. Squat to front squat, folks. I'm gonna turn to the side in case. Woo. Four, three. Here we go. Squat, front squat. We're picking our dumbbells up like we would a wheelbarrow, right? Or our pants. Hopefully you're breathing. Three, two, good. Let your arms rest a second if you need. We are looking good. Woo. Three, two, 
lateral lunge, two pulse. All right, and rest. Good, take a quick break. All right, last time around. Here we go. Squat to front squat. I know your legs are burning. Mine are too. And we've only just begun. You'll be eating good today. Wider if you some more help. Remember it's your 30 seconds. Three, two, all right, 15 second rest. And then we're looking at lateral lunge to double squat. Rest and a total change. New circuit. Three, two, Sweat is dripping, I know. We can do another six seconds, right? Whoo! Okay, looking good. What we're gonna do next is hold the dumbbells. We're gonna do a curtsy lunge with our left and a side kick, left and only left. Three, two, dumbbells up, curtsy, leg lift. All right, feel free to ditch a dumbbell and hold it by the bells right here. We have weight in the right hip on the way down and on the way up, and then it's holding us up while we do that left hip. Whew, I know. We're burning. Last one. All right, two dumbbells, right leg down left foot on the toe. We are doing a single leg deadlift. I'll turn this way. Left leg is useless. Just spotting. Here we go. Down, up. You're coming up with your booty, not your back. So we just fired the crap out of that right cheek. We're firing it again now. Knee is soft. Back is flat, butt goes way back. Guys, the deadlift does not need to go all the way down to the floor. Shin at best. All right, guess what? We're still on the right side. I'm gonna switch to one. Left leg back for curtsy lunge to kick. Right leg's feeling it, here we go. Curtsy and kick. One thing I want to point out when we're doing our kick, we're not moving the whole body, right? Everything stays exactly upright and only that leg moves. Whoop. All right, right leg, knee is soft. We're also not flinging the, <laughs> that kick. We're controlling it. Foot is locked as well. Go ahead and rest. Right leg. Once again, for the last time, single leg deadlift. All your weight transfers to your right. Dumbbells in front, chest is puffed, and here we go. Squeeze your cheek. Good. All right, we're over halfway, we can do this. Be able to pick up that left foot it is doing absolutely nothing for you at all just spotting all right guess what we're gonna switch now right leg goes back for our curtsy lunge 
and leg lift. Same rules apply for that side kick. Three, two, here we go. So we had two on the one side, two on this side. Oh, I know you felt that. A lot in the right, right? Another thing, folks, with these curtsy lunges, we are not opening up the hips this way, right? We're keeping them parallel and we're sinking all of our weight into that left hip. Come on, you can fit one more. Woo! All right, this time, left foot forward. Right foot, useless. Single leg deadlift. Kind of keep that right toe nearby. Here we go. Nice. Good, so I'm literally just hanging out with that other foot. It's not all the way back here. This is not a static lunge. We are deadlifting still. Weight in your heel of your left foot. Butt is way back. Knee is soft. Three, two, good. All right, we have one more of the curtsy lunges where that right foot goes back. I'm gonna use one dumbbell again. This is your modification if you want it. Load up two if you need. Get ready in three, two. Bring it down, kick. I'm staying low just a little, a little soft in the knee. I'm upright in the chest. Curtsy for the queen. This is our last one. Come on, seven seconds. I might get a timer for you guys to be able to see. That's motivating, right? All right, last single leg deadlift in that same position. Right leg is kind of close. In five. And go. Belly is in tight. We shouldn't be feeling this too much in the low back. It's helping for sure but I don't want you lifting with your low back. So when you're down here, squeeze your cheek, use that to come up. Stretch it out, squeeze it. This is your last single leg deadlift. We are moving on to circuit number three in five seconds. Remember, four circuits, we are halfway done. There we go, relax. What I want you to do next, we are gonna pick the right leg and the right leg only. We are going to pulse, pulse, return. Right leg again. All right, here we go. Pulse, pulse, return. Right leg only. I'm probably gonna add weights on the next round. It's just like the round before, where we have two on the right, two on the left. Forward lunges suck but at least we're done with lateral lunges. All right, rest. Our next one, guys, sumo pulses. I'm gonna do one dumbbell for now. I'll add on to the next one. Nice and big. We are down and we're pulsing the whole time. Are you ready? Three, two, here we go. 30 seconds of pulses. They stink, but I'm right here with you. You know it's good when you're starting to eat your sweat. <laughs> Ooh, I know it burns. If you come up from air, right back down. Poor air. No more oxygen to the brain, I guess, huh? Three, two, ooh, hoo, hoo. I know it burns. Grab a set of dumbbells if you want. We are back to that pulse lunge on the right. Last time on the right. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Pulse, pulse, and up. Pulse, pulse. Can you get a little lower? One 
one more. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna let my arms rest for a minute. We have pulses in the sumo position. Two dumbbells, if you can, have them face each other. Three, two, there we go. Whew. We are sliding down a wall. We are not hinging. This is not a sumo deadlift. Or what? I really told you, no more oxygen to the brain. Pulse it down the whole time. Oh man, I'm dying here too. Five, four, three, two, come on up. All right, we have our left leg pulses. We're gonna tap it out in the meantime, walk it out. Whatever feels good. Left leg, I'm gonna use no dumbbells for the first one again. Here we go. Pulse, pulse, up. Ooh, arms are out for balance. Maybe you have a hand on a wall. Maybe two fingers. Maybe one finger. We are working on balance here, folks, but I would rather you hold on to something if you need than not do it at all. Rest on those two dumbbells, sumo pulses, number three out of four. And go. I'm burning here too. I realize I came up last time every two pulses. Ignore me, I hope you did it right. You know, do as I say, not as I do. Woo -hoo. 10 seconds. Chest is up, I know it burns. Ditch a dumbbell if you have to. Keep on going, five, three, two. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna grab two dumbbells. We have one more double pulse with the left. One more sumo pulse. And then we're on to our last circuit. We have four, three, Two, left leg, pulse, return. These are perfect to break in the new shoes. Some pulse lunges. We had a lot of legs this week, guys. Still one tomorrow but it's gonna feel good. All right, that is your last of that. One more time on these pulses. I'm gonna show you from the side. We are not tipping over. We have five seconds, three, two. Toes are slightly pointed out. I'm sliding down a wall and I'm pulsing. I'm not here, right? And I'm not here. <laughs> we are down. Try to get that butt down. Back is still flat. I'm not hunched. 10 seconds. Come on, last 10 seconds of these. Yes, you can. Oh, I know. Four, three, two. Oh my goodness, relax. Holy moly. Let's take a second and get some water. We have about 10 seconds left. Head down to your mat. We get to lay down. We're gonna do a glute bridge with some marches. In three, two, one, watch me. We're up, we stay up, march it out. Go ahead and flex the foot, make it a little bit more controlled. Floppy foot isn't gonna feel the same. Up, 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 up. Roll those shoulder blades underneath. Whew. March it out, march it out. Not that bad, right? Three, two, good. We are gonna flip over all fours. We're gonna do some glute kicks. This is that booty work I was talking about. First set looks like this. In four, three, two. All right, bring the knee in, back stays flat. We push away the wall. Back in, 
And now, guys, this is <laughs> not going to do you any more good. Push straight out. Make your right cheek a little bubble. Back stays flat. Wrists are right under the shoulders. Knee right under the hip. I'm flexing my foot and I'm pushing. Three, two, one. Good. All right, flip back over. Instead of marches, we have a single leg glute bridge. Right leg up. Single leg in three, two. 30 seconds. Good, get a little higher if you can. Push, really, really push through that left heel. You're stamping the ceiling with the bottom of your foot. And rest. All right, flip back over. Guess what we have? The other side. Left leg now, all fours. Already round two out of four. You're doing awesome. And begin. Push. Push. We are controlling this. Flip over, left leg up, glute bridge. Right foot down. I'm gonna roll my shoulders under for some help. Left leg up and go. Modification, of course, for these guys. Double leg, all right? Squeeze those cheeks. They are pancakes at the top, right? If you're doing single leg with me, stamp your ceiling. This <laughs> floppy foot is not gonna get you as far. And done! All right, flip over. We're gonna change it up for our last two. Instead of that knee, we are long and we tap. All right, we have five seconds, three, Two, right leg, long, tap. Let's do the same with that foot. Don't let it get too floppy. Mainly we wanna focus on the knee here. The knee is not bent. We're not doing this one. Not today, not right now. 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, three, Awesome. All right, for our very last glute bridges, we're going to go back to the marches. We made a little sandwich out of these. Glute bridge march. See if you can get up a little higher and hold it a little higher and go march it out. Child's pose. 
Oh my goodness. Stretch those cheeks out. Whew. Awesome job. All right, we're gonna stay here for about 10 more seconds. And then what I wanna see, if you can do, is a little pigeon pose. So we're gonna start on all fours. We're gonna put, we'll work our way there, don't worry. We're gonna put our right foot forward. Let's push the hip bones forward. Stretch out your hip flexors. We're not opening, we're forward. Stretch them out, stretch them out. Chest is tall. Knee is not going beyond the ankle or toes. All right, what I want you to do here, it's gonna sound weird, but I want you to break your leg. <laughs> We're going to fall into pigeon right here. All right. Keeping that out. Up nice and tall, see how you feel about that one. If that's not happening for you, stay in that lunge for me. That deep lunge. I'm gonna stretch out those cheeks all the way out like you're doing child's pose. It's one of my favorites. All right, I want you to push using your hand and your toe. Switch, all right? Left foot forward. We are wide enough that when I push my hip bones forward, I'm not knee over ankle. Keep me knee over toes. Stretch them right here. Sweaty, sweaty. Like day's done, guys. Like day for the week. Strength like day is done. Go ahead and break that leg. Pigeon pose. I am by no means a yogi. I just really enjoy them for cool downs and stretches. See if we can move into child's pose. All right, guys, back into that high plank. Let's just go into a little up dog. your hip bones sink towards the floor. Use this opportunity to breathe. Chest is open. See if you can get it into a down dog. And what I want you to do is pedal out the feet. Nice stretch for your shoulders. And I know mine might look weird to you. We'll let you know I'm hypermobile. All right, I know some of my joints are weird looking. Come on up. One more time with that quad stretch. Don't skip your cool down, guys. I know if I didn't have it in here, you probably wouldn't do it. And cool down is almost as important as your warm up. All right, last thing here, real quick. Heel down, butt back. Hamstring stretch a little bit deeper up, okay? Higher up, excuse me, right here. We had a lot of those single leg moves today. Go ahead, let's switch. Heel, take it back, relax. Good, come on up. We are gonna take two beautiful big deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, let's bring it all the way down to the toes. Up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. And one more big inhale. This time return to the thighs. And you are done. Awesome job, I will see you next time. <laughs>